Monday will mark the final day for students to apply for FAFSA, which is required to get student aid. But actually filling out the form has been a tumultuous process for college students. In 2020, Congress passed a law requiring the Department of Education to make the application process more um, simple. However, there were complications in the rollout of the new version. It was released in December instead of early October as usual. Now we've heard from high school students planning out their futures. They're left unsure of how much college will cost them due to these issues with FAFSA. I couldn't feel it out like that first day. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to take all the financial aid. I'm not going to be able to get anything. I was getting really discouraged. I was like, Ugh, I'm going to have to take out a loan. I'm going to have to work a lot just to pay off the loan. So we should let you know with that deadline quickly approaching, help is still available for those who need it to get that paperwork filled out. KSHB 41 News reporter Lily O'Shea Becker talk with those ready to make sure students get the financial aid they need. With the FAFSA deadline approaching this Sunday and several hiccups with the rollout of the new application for the upcoming school year, students at KCKCC are taking advantage of free assistance for federal student aid applications. It's been a busy few weeks at KCKCC's financial aid office. Student Della Lane was at the office Wednesday. I'm getting help with my FAFSA getting it renewed for this year. Della has worked with academic advisor Laura Thornburg two years in a row. Laura works through a KU grant to assist students throughout Wyandotte County. This year has presented new issues with a new form. It's been really busy because the FAFSA was late to open up, along with issues that people were having with it, so um, people are trying to catch up. FAFSA applications usually open on October 1st for the following school year. This year, it opened three months later, and students experienced glitches with the newly created application. In turn, students were left waiting for their financial reward letters. I think it's an overwhelming process for a lot of people. That's why KCKCC student Olali Khan Fatai turned to Laura for help. Trying to do it at home myself on my computer, on my personal computer, has been tedious for me. But getting here, especially with the help of um, Madam Laura, Thomasburg, she really did a good job there. Multimedia student Nathan Anderson said he was excited for his appointment with Laura on Wednesday. Hopefully, I pray <laughs> that I could go without any student day. Students in summer classes have until Sunday to apply for FAFSA for the current school year. And for the 24-25 school year, Laura advises students to apply now. My recommendation always, and the schools would want you to complete the FAFSA before the semester that you start. In Kansas City, Kansas, Lily O'Shea Becker, KSHB 41 News.